be seated. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us as we celebrate the 2021 commencement ceremony for Kellogg Community College. My name is Dr. Adrian Bennings. As president of Kellogg Community College, I am honored to welcome all of you here today for this tremendous occasion honoring our graduates from 2020 and 2021. On behalf of all of us at KCC, I am filled with pride to be the first person at commencement to officially congratulate our graduates who have worked hard for so long. Please join me in applauding each and every one of them. Before we get to the main event, I'd like to introduce members of the KCC Board of Trustees who are here on stage and will stand when I announce their names. They are Chairman Steve Claywell, Trustee Patrick O'Donnell, Trustee Xenia McKay. And our Board of Trustees student representative, Peyton Espelon. Unfortunately, Trustees Jill Booth, Jonathan Bird, Matt Davis, and Carla Reynolds could not be here tonight, but extend their warmest regards. I stand before you as Dr. Bennings, or some say Dr. B, president of Kellogg Community College. I'm excited to share this moment with each of you and your families and friends. This continues to be a year of challenges, a year of crazy circumstances, and a year of life. It happens, yet you are here. The very fact that you are here and you have made it through one of the worst years in our nation's history tells me that your story continues to be written and Kellogg Community College will forever be etched in the book of your life. But what you see is only the cover page of my story. I was once in your shoes as a student and along my journey to get to where I am today, I've come across many students, each with a story of their own. You are resilient, you are an overcomer, and even when life happens, you will be stronger, better, and wiser than before. Now, before I introduce our student speaker, I'd like to leave you with this. So think about this for a moment. How would you live if failure was impossible? What if on the other side of your story, you win, you're successful, you prosper? Come hell or high water, you make it. Within each of you is the potential and the power to change, inspire, motivate, influence, impact. You get where I'm going. From here on out, from your now to your next, see every setback as an opportunity for advancement. Embrace what didn't work the first time as an opportunity for growth and refinement for the next time. Learn to see life from a different perspective. A perspective of opportunity, success, advancement, and growth. Be open to something new, not the same old way of doing things. Shift your perspective. And remember, you can't fail because it's all rigged in your favor. So what I see here today is only the cover page of the greatest story ever written, you. So today I honor and celebrate you as forever and always a Bruin. And now I have the privilege of introducing our student speaker. A KCC Bruin is powerful and determined, a fearless explorer who laughs at adversity and has a playful sense of humor. I'm pleased to introduce a KCC Bruin who embodies, who truly embodies the spirit of what it means to be Bruin, Tanika Cunningham. Today, Tanika represents the graduating classes of 2020 and 2021 by serving as our commencement student speaker. Tanika is a dedicated, hardworking, passionate person who has never given up on her dream of becoming a music producer. She sings as if it's in her life's blood. For a person who has had to persevere over so much in life, she has remained steadfast in achieving her goals. If we had to sum Tanika up in a single word, it would be grit. She certainly has a bright future ahead of her. So please welcome Tanika Cunningham. Thank you, Dr. Bennings. Through the years I spent at KCC, I learned so much from English, 
to music to art. I never thought my education would take me on a positive path to where I always dreamed of being at in college. Through my journey at KCC, there were school problems and there were my personal problems, always clashing together. At one point, I wanted to quit school because of my lack of concentration was getting worse, but my teachers wasn't having that from me and refused to accept that option of me giving up. There were a few serious issues I was dealing with that made it hard for me to concentrate. My living situation, my home getting broken to twice, my car breaking down, I thought I had to quit school. That is what caused me to lose my concentration because I thought I wouldn't have help getting to school, thinking I had to drop out. Thanks to my family and my godson for getting me to school, refusing to see me drop out. Faithfully had me at school on time. I will always be thankful and grateful to have family that wants to see the best for me. I have five beautiful teachers and a dean of students, Miss Tara, a wonderful, caring, and cool dean I ever met. Dr. Gerald Case Blanchard, Mrs. Emily Patterson, Mrs. Sandy Osmendi, Mrs. Natalie Hammond, and Mrs. Betty Picard. I want to say thank you for the love, commitment, and support taking the time out your busy schedule to help me, to understand me. When I had personal or school problems, each and every one of my teachers guided me exactly where I needed to be. With that encouragement, slowly, I started to see what my teachers and Dean Terry saw in me. And that is my strength, my admiration, and my values that I have to make my dreams of mine to come true. In life, I always felt neglected, left out. But when I started seeking good things happening for me at KCC, getting involved in activities, and getting closer to the staff and my peers, that's when I got out of my shell, started making more friends. That right there has everything to do with my journey as well. I remember when I first moved here to Battle Creek. I told my mother the first thing I wanted to do is get myself back in school. That's exactly what I did. Getting back on the right path landed me right here where I am standing today, talking to the staff and the graduates of 2021. My experience of five years with KCC has been unbelievable. KCC has given me more than I expected. Learning and getting my work done ahead of time and turning my work in correct. Me being proud of myself completing those assignments. Knowing I had so much help from every which way I needed it, I was never turned down when it came to my education. My experience with music would never be the same. Thank you again, Dr. B, for the tour experience and the joy of learning different music from different languages that I had never heard before until you. I will never forget my time, my path, and my achievements I succeeded here at KCC. Everyone that has supported me, my mother Fanny Lockett, who kept pushing me, who had faith in me, never doubted me for a second, even when I didn't believe my mother did. Everyone in my family, from my brothers, my sisters, and all my friends, the experience I had singing in Italian was one of the best privileges I ever had a chance to do in my years at KCC. When you know your calling in music, Every aspect of different sounds will take you to your next step. If I can say one thing to the people of the world, don't stop. Build your future through what you learn in life. Take everything you learn and build from there. Just see how far you will get with that knowledge that you work hard to get to better yourself. Make your family proud. Like my father always told me, don't sweat the small stuff. I am proud of myself and proud of the graduates of 2021. Always remember, never sweat the small stuff. Soar big.
And now to present the graduating classes of 2020 and 2021, Dr. Paul Watson, Vice President for Instruction at KCC. On behalf of the faculty of Kellogg Community College, I, Dr. Paul Watson, as Vice President of Instruction, am pleased to present the 2020 and 2021 graduating classes to the Board of Trustees as candidates for their respective degrees or certificates. And now, representing the KCC Board of Trustees, Chairman Steve Claywell. Thank you, Dr. Watson. Good evening, Dr. Benning's staff. KCC graduates, you did it. 2020 and 2021, congratulations on behalf of the entire Board of Trustees. We're very proud of you. Uh, I am, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, I hereby certify that the degrees and certificates are as presented. I hereby accept the class. Let's graduate the Bruins, always a Bruin. Tanika K. Cunningham, Certificate in Business Management. Associate in Applied Science degree in Business Management. Victoria M. Smith, Associate in Arts degree, Associate in Science degree.
Nicholas T. Edmonds, Certificate in Industrial Trades. Derek A. Barant, Certificate in Corrections. Yes, yes. Michael G. Stroud, Associate in Arts degree, Associate in General Studies degree. Jeanette Griffin, Associate in General Studies degree. <laughs> Dylan M. Farmer, Associate in General Studies degree. Sunita L. Virgil, Certificate in Accounting. Christopher M. Helt, Associate in Applied Science degree in Computer Networking. David M. Roderick, Associate in General Studies degree. <laughs> Amanda S. Ring. Associate in Applied Science degree in Early Childhood Education.
Amanda M. Smith, Associate in Applied Science degree in Early Childhood Education. Associate in Applied Science degree in Law Enforcement and Certificate in Law Enforcement. Corey N. Gilbert, Associate in Applied Science degree in Computer Aided Drafting and Design Technology. Associate in Applied Science degree in Human Services. Rachel A. Williams, Associate in Applied Science degree in Photography and Multimedia and Certificate in Graphic Design. Heiser, Associate in General Studies degree. Janie L. Rogers, Associate in Applied Science degree in Early Childhood Education. Samantha P. Jones, Associate in Science degree, Associate in General Studies degree. J. Knieper, Associate in General Studies degree.
Gabrielle B. Costello, Associate in General Studies degree. Jennifer K. Stuck, Associate in Applied Science degree in Nursing and Associate in General Studies degree. <laughs> Timothy M. Stuck. Associate in Applied Science degree in Nursing and Certificate in Practical Nursing. Amaris N. Ellis, Associate in Applied Science degree in Radiography. Logan R. Dowell, Associate in Applied Science degree in Nursing. Charnice L. Beach, Certificate in Practical Nursing. the third associate in arts degree and associate in general studies degree Hi, how are you good christopher j watson associate in arts degree and associate in general studies degree Associate in Applied Science degree in Business Management and Certificate in Business Management. Kim, a 
Associate in Applied Science degree in Accounting. Associate in Arts degree and Associate in General Studies degree. Associate in Applied Science degree in Human Services. Associate in Science degree. <laughs> Lexi L. Davis, Associate in Applied Science degree in Graphic Design. degree in photography and multimedia, associate in general studies degree, certificate in graphic design, and art enrichment certificate. Associate in Applied Science degree in Business Management. Associate in Science degree.
Sonia K. Daly, Associate in General Studies degree. Clarissa L. Hall, Associate in General Studies degree. Javon W. Mouton, Associate in Arts degree. Delfina Ramos, Associate in Applied Science degree in Nursing and Certificate in Practical Nursing. Jenna L. Gray, Associate in Applied Science degree in Dental Hygiene. Cassandra L. Tesh, Certificate in Practical Nursing. Marilyn Reyes Barrera, Associate in Arts degree.
Leslie Sobrero, Associate in Science Degree in Nursing and Certificate in Practical Nursing. Kimberly Ramos, Associate in Applied Science degree in Nursing and Certificate in Practical Nursing. degree. in Applied Science degree in Nursing and Certificate in Practical Nursing. Associate in Applied Science degree in Nursing, Advanced Placement for LPNs. Associate in General Studies degree. Isabella R. Jeffers, Associate in Applied Science degree in Nursing and Certificate in Practical Nursing.
Peyton L. Clark, Associate in Applied Science degree in Business Management and Certificate in Business Management. Associate in Elementary Education degree and Associate in General Studies degree. Associate in Applied Science degree in Graphic Design and Certificate in Graphic Design. Associate in Applied Science degree in Physical Therapist Assistant. Associate in Applied Science degree in Physical Therapist Assistant. Associate in Applied Science degree in Physical Therapist Assistant. Associate in Applied Science degree in Nursing and Certificate in Practical Nursing. Cynthia L. Machuca, Associate in Applied Science degree in Nursing. Associate in Applied Science degree in Physical Therapist Assistant. Haley D. 
Michalowski, Associate in Applied Science degree in Nursing and Certificate in Practical Nursing. Associate in Applied Science degree in Nursing and Certificate in Practical Nursing. Jenna A. Roberts. Associate in Applied Science degree in Nursing. Chelsea E. Brown, Associate in Applied Science degree in Nursing. Shepard, Associates in General Studies degree. Nadia N. Asker, Associates in Applied Science degree in Early Childhood Education. is not in on here. Oh, I said, sorry, Associates in General Studies degree. Thank you. Samantha 
Ashworth. Okay. Okay. Samantha A. Ashworth, Associates in Arts degree, Associates in General Studies degree. Associates in Arts degree, Associates in General Studies degree. Adriana Chavisser, Associates in General Studies degree. J. Heminger, Associates in Applied Science degree in Accounting.
Michelle Brown, Associates in Applied Science and Nursing, Certificate in Practical Nursing. Okay, welcome. I'm not talented in that regard. It's beautiful. Dr. Keck prayed good weather today. <laughs> Stars aligned. fun to hang around with. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alexander Hernandez, Associate in General Studies degree. Kimberly L. Toxky, Associates in Science Degree, Associates in General Studies Degree.
Bridget K. Ross, Associate in Applied Science degree in Nursing, Certificate in Practical Nursing, Certificate in Basic Emergency Medical Technician. Congratulations. Zachary K. Alamoli Macalogic Associates in General Studies degree. Congratulations, sir. You can come to the president. Olmstead, Associates in Applied Science degree in Nursing.
Dewicki. Dewicki. Taylor M. Dewicki, Associates in Applied Science degree in Nursing, Certificate in Practical Nursing. Associates in Applied Science degree in Nursing, Certificate in Practical Nursing. It's an elementary education degree. Associates in Applied Science Degree Nursing, Certificate in Practical Nursing.
say the last name. Job Old Nambo, Associates in Applied Science degree in Nursing, Certificate in Practical Nursing. Michelle Snyder, Associates in Applied Science degree in Nursing. Nikki L. Harris, Associates in General Studies degree. Kenzie G. Askler, Associates in Science degree. Song Certificate in Accounting. Bender, Associates in Applied Science degree in Early Childhood Education.
Okay, thank you. Emily M. Davison, Associates in Science degree, Associates in General Studies degree. Shannon R. Trotter, Associates in Applied Science degree in Dental Hygiene. Irene M. Hout, Associates in Applied Science degree in Accounting, Associates in Applied Science degree in Business Management.
closer. Say the last name. Habilitz. Brittany L. Habilitz, Associates in Applied Science degree in nursing, certificate in practical nursing. Alicia S. Vasquez, Associates in Applied Science degree in Business Management. Hopkins, Associates in Applied Science degree in Graphic Design, Certificate in Graphic Design. Congratulations. Yep, appreciate it. Lawrence L. Johnson the second, Associates in Applied Science degree in Computer Engineering Technology. Keisha M. Decker, Associates in Applied Science degree in Nursing. Congratulations. Z.R. Stevens, Associates in General Studies degree.
Jacqueline M. Siska, Associates in Applied Science degree in Business Management. Sabrina E. Yearling, Associates in Applied Science degree in Graphic Design. Megan E. Striffler, Associates in Applied Science degree in Business Management. Casey Ann N. Eldridge, a certificate in medical assistant. B.M. Gilbert, Associates in Applied Science degree in Radiography. Megan A. Wrangler, Associates in Applied Science degree in Magnetic Resonant Imaging. Marcus O. Lawrence, Associate's Degree in General Studies.
Marianne L. Eddy, Associates in General Studies degree. Thank you. Haley N. Highland, Associates in General Studies degree, Certificate in Business Management. K. Bassett, Certificate in Practical Nursing. Congratulations. Thank you. Kinsler, Certificate in Practical Nursing. Certificate in Medical Assistant. Associates in Elementary Education degree, Associate in Arts degree, and Associates in General Studies degree. So 
Associates in Applied Science degree in Nursing, Certificate in Practical Nursing. <laughs> I like the blue. Alyssa E. Macias, Associates in Applied Science degree in Nursing. Associates in Applied Science degree in Nursing, Certificate in Practical Nursing.
transforming life. Thank you, ma'am. You, you're good. How you, that's okay. How you doing? Good. How are you? Okay. Say the phone name, Ashley A. Vick, right? Yeah. Ashley A. Vick, Associate Implied Science Degree in Nursing, Certificate in Practical Nursing. Navia R. Cavarillo, Associates in General Studies degree. McCombs, Associates in General Studies degree. ACC staff and faculty, you can take this fifth inning stretch, I guess. We've got about 30 more graduates coming through. So thank you all for being here. This has been a great day so far. So take a stretch if you need to, and we'll keep on going.
Caitlin O. Geigel, Associate in General Studies degree. Michaela C. Baker, Associate in Applied Science Degree in Nursing, Certificate in Practical Nursing. Alexis M. Moore, Associate in General Studies degree.
Jennifer S. Trailer, Associate in Applied Science Degree in Nursing, Certificate in Practical Nursing.
Christy L. Prater, Certificate in Graphic Design. Erica M. Chamberlain, Associate in Applied Science degree in Business Management.
Wen T. Hein, Associate in General Studies degree. Thank you. <laughs> wow, what a day it's been. I'm going to ask everyone to stand as we see our final graduate off.
Thank you. Now, with the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I, Dr. Adrian Bennings, as president of Kellogg Community College, am pleased to confer the associate degree or certificate as symbolized by your appropriate diploma. Now we may move our tassels from right to left. <laughs> and this concludes Kellogg Community College's commencement exercise. Thank you and have a great evening.